Hello my thrifty friends. How is everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm here for hashtag thrifty Thursday, which is an open collab hosted by me and anyone's, um, you know, welcome to join in. Just uh, let me know. I'll add you to my very long list <laughs> of participants. And this list will be in my description box so you can just, you know, binge on thrifty videos all day long, 24-7. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, you should watch some of these ladies. They bring home some really um, you know, amazing goodies that they find at thrift stores or wherever. Thrifty finds could be Walmart or, or you know, wherever. So yeah, that's all. That's all fine and dandy. You know, that's welcome. And yeah, let me know. I'll add you if you would please subscribe to my channel since I'm the host and um, put my uh, link of my channel in your description box or if you're on Instagram just tag me so I can um, you know when I go on there I'll get a notification that you have posted an Instagram post about your thrifty finds so um, I've started a few weeks ago just because the list is so long and in appreciation for everyone participating i started um just doing a shout out for five i'm going down my list of five um participants every week so they're kind of like the featured channels or instagram uh for for this week and i'm just saying you know it would be cool if you aren't subscribed to their channel to go check out their thrifty videos give them a subscri subscription while you're there a like a comment and you know it's all uh, in the uh, love of crafting and thrifting, right? So, <clears throat> this week's featured channels, uh, I think they're all channels right this week. Uh, Pam's Treasures, Candy Cane Creates, Heather C, Flighty Rambler, and Melissa Barnes. So yeah, they are all awesome, craft, amazing crafters, and they find amazing thrifty goodies for, you know, what we do. Uh, we make we craft, we make junk journals, we um, do paper crafting, scrapbooking, you know, all all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, just check out their channels, and you might find, and you will find, some amazing videos and um, things that they do. And everybody does their own, you know, puts their own spin on things. So it's really really interesting to expand your um, YouTube uh, watching in, in that way. So uh, what did I get this week? I'm going to let you know what I got at thrift stores. I think it was all from thrift stores. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with it, if at if it all possible. So, you know, everything I pick up these days, because um, I have basic supplies, you know what I mean, is usually uh, I try to find unique items and things that I don't have. I kind of want to open these, so I'm going to take my little scissors here and cut this open. But... Um, the reason I got this, um, I don't think it's probably not that old, but <clears throat> does it have a date? Sometimes these have a date, but usually not. But um, these are design wear. You know, I don't know. I haven't heard of that. I don't remember hearing about that brand or, you know, noticing that brand before. But they just looked kind of retro. And I'm doing that hard, you know, handyman journal right now and it's got these types of colors in it. I thought this would be fun to stick one of these in there for drilling space. So that is why I got these for drilling space. And of course they come with envelopes. It was a new package, never opened, so they're all here. So this would be fun to stick in a pocket or if you um, have cards without envelopes, you can stick it in an envelope. You can use the cards and envelopes separate. And, or sometimes you can glue this down, a card, glue it down on a page in there and you have a little drawing spot that way and you can even make a tuck spot behind it so just lots of things you can do with cards if you find cards that you like so and here you can even use the packaging right look at this packaging it's got lines back here lines here so hmm, I might hold on to that make a drawing spot out of that so the next thing I bought was some fabric and I only get fabric because if I really, like, I have to love it. You know what I mean? Because I, I already have a lot of fabric. And so I have to, like, really love, love, love it because, you know, I don't really have room for it anymore. <laughs> so I found this. This is, there was two pieces of this and they're both, uh, oh, here's the other one. Two, look at how much there is here. I will definitely be sharing this in some of my fabric bundles that I have been showing you each Saturday. I have been trying, I've done, I did it for a while, 
then I stopped for a while and then now I'm doing it again where I come to you each Saturday and I um, try to get together um, and do a video on Saturday a, a bundle of fabrics and I usually slip in a sewing pattern and a couple other little goodies so it's a fun little bundle and that way I can buy some fabric for myself and then share some with you all so the reason I like this well it's so pretty the colors are so pretty and there's different fruit on here let's see <clears throat> uh are these in i'm trying to see if these are in english i think these are in another language no here's i don't know they might be in another language let me see this looks like a yeah i think they're actually in another language so anyway so then i can't read them but these look like cherries <laughs> that looks like a what a plum or an apricot here are some strawberries anyway this would be the reason I bought a fabric like this is so pretty. You can use it for so many things. I've made tags out of fabric. Fabric tags are really beautiful. I can sew the fabric onto a piece of like file folder and you have your writing space on the back and then you have this beautiful fabric on the front and you can even layer it. And you can use, of course, this for a journal cover. Uh, let's see how, how um, let me see if I can get a single piece here. Where's my where is the uh, end of this oh well it might not be like a single piece but i think it's it's fairly thick you know what i mean so um when i use fabric i if i if i can't see through it then i you know you don't have to put anything under it but if i can see through it i might put a little batting or something under it so just lots of things you can you make clusters and just you know all sorts of things out of the different fabrics that you might find in the thrift store now this one was just scraps like this and I have no idea how old it is but it looks old doesn't it doesn't it look like um I don't know it just looks old like uh it could be 50 years old it could be 25 years old or it could be new I don't I really don't know it's cottony it's kind of thin um you can see it through a little bit but just these colors were so pretty and they're so bright so it just looked like those you know there's 50s colors or maybe even 70s I'm not sure but I thought that was really pretty it's just a scrap but I went ahead and picked it up I found this because well I have some of these that I use as a whole or I have one that I use as a whole in my flip through videos it's a little lighter color than this I really like this darker color but it does have um, these circles it has six circles that you can cut out and use for all sorts of things. You can use these by their, themselves or for, you know, you can layer on top of them. You can um, use this outside part. Uh, if you cut out the circles and then you just have this left, you can use these in snippets and clusters and tuck in a little. You can even cut off a corner and use it for a, a corner pocket or cut off a piece like this and use it for a pocket. Sometimes if I have a, something flimsy like this that I want to use as a pocket, I'll sew this down, a piece like this, say, and onto some like file folder, and then you have a sturdy pocket, but you have the pretty lace on top, and then you can put things in and out easier of the, you know, in the pocket, so you don't, you know, you're not always kind of like getting things caught on the lace. So yeah, I think that's what I did in my. Did I do that in here? Hold on, hold on. Do I have that journal here? Oh, I have it in the other room. I think I have it in the other room right now, so I can't show you. I'll show you my video sometime, though, when I'm working on that journal. The um, one I'm doing um, right now, step by step or whatever. Um, start to finish. <clears throat> so this is another a beautiful, colorful fabric. Uh, this looks like little apples or cherries or something. But isn't that so pretty? And I love an all-over print like that. It's so useful. And it's just so many things you can do with it. Uh, so, yep, yeah, that could be a journal cover or, again, all the uh, things I previously said. So, the next bunch here is some books. Um, I pretty much always pick, pick up Beatrix Potter, these little ones. And I have some where um, some of them have the green cover, you know, here. And some of them have this white cover. And my intention is to make little journals out of these. Um, just have to, you know, start one day and do some journals out of these little books. But they make super cute little journals. They're a nice little size too. So, and you can just make a nice little chunky journal and, you know, make a new spine. And, and so I got um, Puddle Duck. This is Tale of J Jemima Puddle Duck. Um, Mrs. 
Tittlemouse and Peter Rabbit, of course. <laughs> so, and they're all in really nice shape. They're, they're all the white cover, I think. Wait a minute, let me see if I'm telling you the truth here. Oh, I think this is the green cover. Ooh. Oh, this is a nice old kind of worn one too. Isn't that neat? Uh, yeah, so I would be making a new spine. But yeah, that is a nice kind of worn cover there. Not too worn though, right? So, oh, let's check the years out on this real quick. Uh, since I have different covers, let's see what years the different uh, colors of covers are from. So this one is, <clears throat> sorry. This one is, well, where's the date? Not here, nor there, <laughs> not anywhere. <laughs> Sam, I am. <laughs> Let's see, well, I really don't see the date on here. Uh, the pages are a little crinkled in here, like, I don't know if it got wet or what, but that's okay. It's a perfect journal uh, material. Uh, okay, I don't know, I don't see a date on the green one. Let's check the white one. This has a little inscription. Oh, this is a green one too. This one's in like, perfect shape though and so let's check does this one also not have a date it's, oh no this has a lot more information here than that one did um, does it have a copyright uh, it says copyright but there's no date well first published in 1910 this impression 1987 so maybe this one's 1987 so maybe the other green one might be 1987 too it just got damaged, not sure. But uh, this one has kind of a white, um, you know, dust cover here. This one is a little colored, like a light blue or green, maybe blue. Oops, that's my other phone. And this one has the white dust cover and the white, you know, this part. And that, so that, say those are 1987. Let's see, this one is 1985. So that's one, a couple years younger younger older older sorry <laughs> okay so let's see so I found this book I thought this was really of course very cute Hershey's 1934 cookbook it's not from 1934 but I think it was pretty old I think I looked at it in the store uh, these are a couple different trips this is not all one trip to the thrift store 1971 so um, this I'm probably gonna put in my shop that's why I got this I just think it's really, I thought it was really cool. And, you know, who doesn't like chocolate, right? <laughs> so it has these pretty pictures. It could be taken apart and uh, made into a journal. Or you could probably, possibly use it as is. As You could even make an altered book out of this. Or um, possibly a journal. The way with keeping the, I've never done that, but keeping the spiral here intact. I would, I would like to try that one day. Okay, the next three, is that all? Nope, yep, yeah, nope. Yeah, three more books, but these are the three little golden books that I have here today. And this is Goodnight Little Bear. I just thought this was so cute, but it does look like a newer book. It is uh, 2001, but that 20 years old is vintage, so it is a vintage uh, golden little golden book. So, and it's, um, well, it's in, is it in perfect shape? I think it's probably going in my shop, so there's a little sticker here, Give the Gift of Reading, Success by Six, and then I told you the date, pages look good, you know, there's a little wear, but not really anything to speak of, so yeah, that's a very nice book, looks pretty much new. Now these two I don't know what I'll do with, I might, I have a... A listing in my Etsy shop and it's for a junk journal kit a little golden book junk journal kit so these might be good candidates for that little um, list, you know listing that I could include with that there see there I try to use um, some that are a little bit more worn but I would still list this in my shop but uh, because I think it's still worth uh, whatever I would want to list it for because it's so cute. I mean, look at that little girl <laughs> with her little drawing here. The mad ant or something. <laughs> and then here's the back. It's not coming apart or anything. Just this little seal is now silver and it's coming off right there. 
And then the pages, there's not even any writing in here. Pages are all very nice. And this is Ellie, pictures by Eloise Wilkin. And if you know her, she makes, does beautiful, um, you know, illustrations and drawings and, and pictures. And so this is, this is 1965. So I think I believe that. I think this probably is 1965. Um, 89 cents though. No, that's got to be, there's got to be another date. 89 cents is like, oh, here it is. I was going to say 80s or 90s and it's 1982. <clears throat> I just remember when I used to buy my kids book, those books, the little golden books, they were around 99 cents or something like that. And that one's 89 cents. So, <laughs> uh, this is the, this is a, a nice kind of older looking one too. Originally 59 cents. Uh, the cover, this is still got a little gold in it, I think. I don't know, maybe it's all silver, but it looks looks really nice. It's, a, it's barely coming off here, so that could be easily glued back down. And it's a little bit uh, messed up right here where a piece of the gold seal tore off. And then, so no writing. It's not coming apart or anything. Yeah, I, I try to look at them pretty carefully in a thrift shop, thrift shop but sometimes I miss... You know, miss might miss something, but this looks really nice. Super nice, actually. Really pretty, really cute. And so, what did I, did I already give you the copyright? I don't think so. This one's 1977. <clears throat> so I think that just has a really pretty cover. Just and I like the little bit of wear on it, so it just looks really. No, just it's like the perfect age, right? <laughs> so this um, I got because of the paper inside. I opened it up and it's got these papers with lines so that would be great to use in a journal and I think I think if I remember right when I looked at it in the store they look like there were signatures so let me show you because that means if there's signatures let me, I don't know if I can show you uh, and if the camera will pick it up but let me show you the spine <laughs> as best I can can you see that there are signatures so that means you can take out, um, when you take this apart, it's probably got maybe strings in the middle or something. But um, if you can take it apart, you'll get a whole two-page piece of um, the pages together. And then you have all that room to work with in your journal. So you can put it in and fold it in, make flip-outs or tuck spots. And it's just really um, a nice to find something with a wider, uh, you know, room to work with like that so anyway this had the pages with the lines a lot of pages with lines if it wouldn't have oh look there's some very neat handwriting look at that i would even use that in a journal because it's so uh such pretty handwriting and then if it didn't have all these lined pages i probably wouldn't have gotten it but it does look at all this and then it does have some of this which i would also use like in any journal or especially in a recipe or cookbook journal but here's some more lines look at look how pretty this is a calendar 2000 so it must be from 2000 that's that so this is vintage but some count most of it's not written in so but there's a little writing like you just saw but look at all this there's a little bit more writing there but very pretty calendars um the you know pictures you know i just love all the little fruits and they're they're in color so yeah i just thought this would be very useful as pages in junk journals so <laughs> and so yeah the whole thing is like that just tons of writing room well here's some different calendars here with the little squares so isn't that interesting wouldn't that be fun to have those little squares to write in in a journal i think that would be awesome look at this monthly reminder oh that's on every page I could cut that out or leave it um, as a you know as a page but that is on every page that's really cool <clears throat> here's some other little pieces of lined like little rectangles of lines lines and yeah I just thought that was a really neat book so I'll pick that up and then I found oh this was at a different the thrift store that I found these two yeah those were all at the same thrift store but different trips this was another trip to a different thrift store i just remember that but these are uh baby books and 
Uh, I couldn't believe actually that they were such a good price. Um, this is a smaller one. You can see how big this one is and how small this one is. I don't think I, I don't know if I've ever seen one this small, but it says Baby Story. It's kind of white, but I got it for the pages. So, but I'm going to probably put these in my shop because I already have a couple, you know, I have a newer baby book and I have a old, really old baby book. Something like this one. They look like the page, the one I have looks, that I've used and I have some pages left from it look like this one. They're just gorgeous. And this, the, see, this had a little writing right here. Just, you know, I don't, I, I'm planning on putting in this in my shop, but it's so gorgeous. I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't know if I can give this up, but I probably will. But look at these, look at these pages. They're so, so pretty. Um, I'm going to see if it has a date in it in a second, but look at how gorgeous. I use these, um, the ones I have, the older ones that I have, I use them in making my own baby journal for my very, very first granddaughter that was born almost two years ago now. Well, it was about a year, it was a year and a half ago, and she'll be two in November. But these make really beautiful pages in a baby journal. And uh, you can just glue on them, glue your own pictures. You don't have to do what it says on the page. You just do whatever you want. You know, you kind of ignore what is the words and do whatever you want. Even mine has writing, more writing in it. And it was just so fun to put something and use that writing as a background and, um, you know, then put something on top of it, like pictures or whatever. So, yeah, that's my, um, my I call it my Mimi's Journal. And maybe you've seen it here. I've done some work in it on my channel, but that was just so cute. I just loved it when I saw it. And had to get it and then this one too this is a giant one I, I think it's giant <laughs> anyway but uh, babyhood babyhood years this one's blue this is blue with lambs and then here's the inside oh I didn't find the date here did I I wonder if there's a date in here hold on because mine's from like the 40s let's see here's some writing down here it's very light light blue uh, there's a very light blue date right here and I have no idea what it says, so I can't really tell you. But mine's from the 40s, and it has the same type of colors, and, you know, little kids like this. So it might be, this might be 40s. I would look it up and put it in, I would, you know, magnify it and put it in the ad when I'm um, listing it. Now this one, let's see, does it have a date copyright? This one's light blue too, but it's a little darker. Now this one says 1960, so maybe that one could be 1962, 1960 also. But let's see what this one looks like. This one is also very cute, but the, the graphics are different. So I, I really think that one's older. I think that one's older, but this one's nice. Nice, has nice age on it, nice vintage age on it too. And I, if I remember right, this one was not used at all. Growth chart. Just so cute, right? Look at these nice big pages. You could turn them around and fold them this way if you're going to put them in a journal. And you could cut, see all the white space on the outside? You could cut them down a little bit if you're going to make these pages into journal pages. You could cut them down a little bit. Or, um, let me see, are these signatures? Oh, look at that, how pretty. Uh, they are signatures. So this is one big page here. So, yeah. That would be that would be really fun to do something with these. You could even make just make ephemera out of the little pictures and things, and then make journal cards or whatever, or make like you could cut it off here, use this part for your page, and then make little tags and things out of this bottom part. You know, you could just kind of play it by ear each page, whatever you think is best. But there's just uh, a lot. Uh, beautiful really little pictures in here and the, the words are blue it looks like very cute this one's this little baby's reaching for a turtle <laughs> so cute and so yeah never used from 19 whatever I said <laughs> so isn't that cute so yep that is every oh wait I got one more thing I got one more thing hold on don't leave <laughs> So, uh, I always keep my eye out. Oh, let's see, what did I get in this bag? Oh, I think I have another bag to show you somewhere. This is not what I thought it was. I have, I found, oh, these are cute. Yeah, I found a cup, only a few of these. That's all I found, but they're so cute. Little game cards. Look how cute these, they're small, and then they look pretty old. I have no idea what game this is. They look like little playing cards, but it's the nine, 
nine of clovers, four leaf clovers. And this is the five of hearts and the nine of stars. <laughs> so some little card game, but they're super vintage looking and very cute and small. And then I have in my shop a listing for um, game pieces. And that's for people who do so many different things with game pieces. And so I'm always keeping my eye out for kind of games, old or new, with a lot of pieces like this. And look at these dice, they're wood. But I put them in that, that listing. I use them for that listing so people order them for all different things. They make jewelry with them, or you can make chunky little char you know, charm dangles for your journals. You know, people drill holes in these and string them up and make little tap, you know, put them on their tassels or, you know, dangles or whatever. There's a couple of buttons in here too. Aren't those cute? I don't know if I, I don't know where I got those. But there they are. I'll put them on my buttons. There's another button. But, oh, what is this? This is heavy metal. What do you think? It's a pendant, maybe, but it's so heavy. Like, let me show Let me show you. I'll have to put my phone on it. You know, the magnifier camera magnifies everything on your phone. So if I can't see something, I put my phone over it, my camera over it so I can see it. But I'll show you real quick. Maybe you recognize it and you can let me know what you think it is or maybe you know what it is uh, it looks like a built there's a building on there or is that an airplane i'm not sure or maybe nothing but i will magnify it later and see what that is but anyway i got all these little game pieces another button i got all these little game pieces and i thought they were they were definitely from a game there's another button <laughs> i didn't know i had all those buttons in there and there so there's these little flat pieces which are plastic and these little pieces which are also plastic and a couple of little, uh, look like old red dice. Wood, wooden. They're wood. So that is cool. So I'll be putting that with my listing for game pieces. I always like to add something different in there so I can, because it's for 75 pieces. So, you know, I don't want to give them a lot of the same thing if I can find different things to put in there, if you know what I mean. So that is really it. Oh, there's some more in here. <laughs> anyway, I'll get those out later. Well, maybe I'll get them out now. Oh, some more. Oh, these are bigger wood dice. Look at that. And another button. Hold on. Maybe there's a treasure in here. <laughs> nope, that, that's really it. Okay. But anyway, you get the picture. I found a bunch of goodies here. <laughs> so, thanks for watching today, guys. Don't forget to check out the participants. I appreciate everyone watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Have a great day.